Hi guys, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. So I'm going to do something different today. I'm going to do a K-pop inspired makeup look. The person that I'm going to pick today to do is a member of TWICE. Her name is Jongyong. I think I pronounced that right. Don't kill me if I didn't. Um, pronouncing Korean names is very difficult. I'm not going to lie. And the look that I'm going to be doing today is this one. In Korean makeup, I've noticed that they do do really short eyeliner and they use a lot of like peachy pinky tone. So it's going to be a very very soft look. I hope I can do this makeup look justice. I'm going to try my hardest to do my best. So I've already creamed my face, so it's nice and moisturised. I've broken out quite a bit and I don't know why, like I've got a lot of spots on my forehead and here. And I'm not sure why it is. I don't drink water full stop. I need to start putting that into my life. So I'm going to start by grabbing my beauty blender. Now I got a pack of beauty blenders sent to me from In Stylish. I've used one already because I wouldn't recommend anything that I haven't used. And it has been brilliant. So it goes from this size to this size. It's very soft, washes really easy, and I've been using it for a week and it hasn't lost its shape, it hasn't broken. Most of my beauty blenders break after I wash them. One is this shape. So I'm gonna use this shape today because I think it's really cool. So I'm gonna go wet it, then I'm gonna be right back and this is gonna be all inflated. This is a really cool shape. I've never used a sponge this kind of shape. It's got one flat end another flat end then it's round towards the bottom so should be cool to use the other one that came in the packet is just a normal kind of shaped beauty blender so i'm gonna leave the link in the description of these two sets if you wanted to try those two shapes also get 10 percent off with my discount code so i'm gonna start by putting concealer on my eyes to start this look and it is going to be the Radiance Reveal Concealer by Bourjois and then I'm going to use the flat side to blend it look how quick it blended now I am going to grab my random ebay palette now i'm not gonna lie i don't have the link to this whatsoever but find the closest tones that you can to the colors that i use if you do want to do this makeup tutorial so i'm going to start by using this color right here and i'm going to run it through my cup crease i'm just going to use a fluffy brush Another thing I have also noticed about Korean makeup, it is very subtle, like you don't get strong contour in. With lighter colours as well, you do have to go in quite a lot just because it is so light, so it takes time for it to build up and to really show. Next, I'm going to add a bit more pink to the eyeshadow because hers is a bit more pinky and this is a bit more peachy. So I'm going to use that colour right there. It does have a bit of shimmer to it, this colour. I don't really like using shimmer in my cup crease. I don't know why, but I just don't. But this isn't too much, so it's not too obvious. Now that that is done, I'm going to take the Goodnight Sweetheart Sleek Makeup Palette, and I'm gonna use this pink right here. And I'm just gonna use my finger and just put it on the base of my eye. This is like the softest makeup look I've ever done. Take it across the whole face. I know the corners look a bit messy right now, but we will clean that up. Now take the brush that you used with the colors and blend it all in. Now that that is done, I'm gonna do the eyeliner. Now this eyeliner is gonna be difficult for me because I do do it quite thick and I do do a really long tick most of the time. I'm gonna be using the NYX matte liquid eyeliner in black but before we do that I'm just gonna clean up this section my makeup remover and now grab your eyeliner oh god this is gonna be tricky also clean under your eye seeing as the wet wipe is wet 
saves you from doing it later. Tiny little flicks. Okay, I managed to get through it. Next, I'm gonna use my mascara, Lash Sensational Waterproof Mascara. <gasps> okay, look what's just happened. Let your eyeliner dry first. Big mistake. Wow. Now in this photo that I picked of her, she isn't wearing lashes, but I'm gonna put on lashes because I don't really like eyeshadow and no lashes. I don't know, that's just a thing for me. Like if I'm gonna do eyeshadow, there has to be some eyelashes. Otherwise I feel like my eyes just look like peanuts. So I'm gonna use the Molly lashes from Primer. Then I'm gonna grab my lash glue, the Salon Pro hair bonding glue. It's not for this use, but I use it anyway. And now I'm gonna have to add such a thin layer. The only reason why I do thick eyeliner is because it's easier to stick on lashes. Like you can go a bit above your lash line and it's not obvious. Really thin layer. I don't even know if it's gonna stick, but wish me luck. And then just stick your lashes, wait for that one to dry a bit more, but stick your lashes with your fake ones by just pressing. I really like this look, it looks very princessy. So cute. Now time to start the foundation. I'm going to grab my True Match L'Oreal Paris in the shade Golden Beige. Then I'm going to grab my amazing blender and I am going to blend my face. Guys, the sponge is so soft and it spreads product very well. Next, I'm going to grab the same concealer that I used for the lid. Apart from that was in the shade 2, this is in the shade 1. And I am going to use the smaller side of the sponge. Okay, this is too light. I used to really like this shade, but now I'm just not feeling the really light under eyes. I'm gonna take the shade two and I'm gonna go over it because this is too light for me. Then I am going to grab my MUA setting powder and just leave that there for a second without taking off the excess. Now time to contour! I'm gonna use LA Girl Pro Conceal in Almond and LA Girl Pro Conceal in Toast. doesn't really matter what order you put these in. You can do the almond first or the toast first. If you guys use different shades, you can do the light one or the dark one first. Depends on you really, it doesn't matter. I do it sometimes the dark one first, sometimes the light one first. Works both just as well. Guys, I get that Korean makeup is quite pale, but I am going to contour and make myself a bit more tan because that's how I like my makeup. I'm not going to do it as dark as I usually do it just because we are copying a look and now for the nose I'm going to use the little section because your nose is little this is actually really good for the nose because with bigger sponges it just tends to get everywhere then you have to clean up after I mean with this I'm not even going to clean up at all after wow that was really good now time for the cheeks Thank you. 
I'm using a sculpting brush by Sam and Nick from Real Techniques. Now I'm gonna blend it with the sponge just because I feel like Korean makeup, they only add blush. They don't really contour that much from what I see in photos. So I'm gonna try and take as much of the color out as I can. I have blended the contour out so it's not as obvious. It's a bit more subtle. Now what I am gonna do is I'm gonna add blush, which I never ever do. I don't even own a blush. So I am gonna use this first pink, which I used in my cut crease. And I'm just gonna add a bit to my cheeks. And I'm gonna use it with a really big fluffy brush, just because I don't want a lot in there. I can't believe I'm burnt eyeshadow on my cheeks. I don't even know how blush works, people. I know it's supposed to be on the apple of your cheeks. Actually, it looks quite cute. I mean, I've never tried blush, but this is really cute. And take my highlighter. It's the MAC Whisper of Guilt. You'd think I know what the highlighter is called without looking at it by now. And I'm gonna take it into the brow bone. I feel like Korean makeup doesn't have much highlight to it either, so I'm gonna do it very subtle. I'm gonna add a little bit here on the inner corner of my eye. It looks cute. And I have seen some Korean makeup where they do this. And then take a fluffy brush and add just a little bit, I think. And then blend it all together. I am gonna clean my eyebrows now. Eyebrows, I don't touch them anyway, so I'm not gonna touch them today either. Lip wise, all I have seen is that they add a little bit of color to the inside. She's got a really, really, really subtle pink on and it's mainly in the middle of her lips. It's a little bit pinkier than this. But I'm gonna do this one on the outside. And then I'm gonna add a darker one on the inside. So the first colour was Beauty Bakery Berry Mousse Lip Whip and the second colour was Beauty Bakery Take Me for Pomegranate. And they're both matte lipsticks so I don't want my lips to dry out too much. I'm going to add the Carmex Moisture Plus Lip Balm. Also, I'm gonna add some pink to the bottom because she did have pink on the bottom of her eyes as well. So I'm gonna get a small tiny brush and I'm gonna use the glittery pink because she looks like she's got a lot of pink on the under eye. And then just take a random clean brush and blend that. She has no mascara on the bottom of her eyes, so I'm not gonna do that. Hair down. And that is the look, guys. I think you could wear this to prom. I think you could wear this to a nice dinner. I mean, I've never done my lips like this, but I think it looks quite cool, to be fair. Hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you're having a nice day, evening, night, whenever you're watching. If you like that I'm doing K-pop idol makeup tutorials, then let me know in the comments below. I've got another K-pop idol makeup tutorial coming soon. Make sure you stay tuned for that. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.